next meeting is being recorded. Good evening, Christina. Hmm. All right. Good evening, Joshua. Good evening, Sister Noe. Ah, Sister Noel, Sister Josie. Good evening, Brother Dave, Sister Tina. Good evening. Brother Jai, Sister Rachel, Sister Faith, Sister Giselle, Sister Jaya, Brother Carl James, Sister Aileen and Brother Daniel, Pastor Cled, Sister Rose, good evening sa inyong lahat. Magandang magandang gabi. Good evening po. Good evening, Heather and Angelie. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Eva. How are you, Eva? We miss you. Uh, Good evening, Tita Bing. Good evening, Po. Hi, Nako. Right. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Sabi ni Rachel. And good evening to everyone. Sabi ni Carl James. Good evening, Sister Anadu. Brother Mark, good evening. Good evening, po. Yan, sa mga ginawa kong co-host, Kindly admit the mga darating pa so that we can start right away. All right. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Who else? Good evening, Darren and uh, Brother Noel Madrid. Good evening. Thank you, Rachel, for the code. Sabi ni Sister Tina. Are you in the hospital, Sister Tina? Ah, at home. Apo. Home po. How's uh, baby Naomi? I thank God. Okay na po. Okay na. Namutang mm -hmm. dag na. Na po. <laughs> Mataba pa rin yung cheeks. Tumaba na yung cheeks. Tumaba na uli yung cheeks. Apo. Good to know. God thank is good. You. Apo, thank you. Oh. Pinakaba lang tayo, pero God is in control. Apo, correct, Amen. Pastor. Yes. Yeah. So, good evening, Pastor Bong. Uh, good evening, Pastor. Kamusta kayong lahat? Yes. Good evening, Pastor Justin. <laughs> yeah. So, good. I guess we can start. Oh, okay, admit na lang yung mga papasok pa. Pijas. <laughs> Pijus. Good evening, Anastasio family, and happy birthday, Sister Jasmine. <clears throat> Good evening, Pa. All right, all right, all right. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, it's 8.05 Wednesday, January 11, 2023. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. And uh, welcome to your 2023 prayer and fasting Zoom gathering. And uh, let's start with our praise report and prayer request. Meron ba? Oh, sige. 
kung meron kayo, eh, pwede nyong isulat. You can write down your prayer request or praise report or you can share it to us. No, Just unmute yourself. Go ahead. Let's start with Anastasios. Go ahead. Anastasios. Uh, praise report po, Pastor. Um, Na-increase na, na po ako sa work. Nang wow. So Sana praise the Lord. Lord. <laughs> wow. Parang lagi ka na-increase bro. Ha? <laughs> Ay, di po. Bonus po yung last time. Bonus po yung pastor. Ay, bonus pala yun. Tsaka yung free uh, gas. So, uh, Pachay free gas. Wow, so, yeah. ngayon po, increase na po talaga. Wow. Praise the Lord. Kay barbecue na yan, sabi ni Mao. <laughs> sabi ni Tina, yeah, hey. Saan tayo, kuya? Sabi ni Rachel. Boiling crab. Ang dami nyo namang hiling. <laughs> Taco Sunday. <laughs> Parang uh, yun ang pinakamura. Taco Sunday kaysa sa boiling crab. <laughs> Alright. Sabi po Good. ni Yasmin, ano po eh, tusok-tusok hmm. daw po at saka lugaw. Oh yeah, sarap yun. Oh, and it's, so it's her birthday. Ah, uh, birthday po kasi niya. On Saturday. Ah, uh, sa Sunday po niya balak eh, Sunday night. Ah, oh, sa po. Sunday. Okay. Sana okay. lang po, hindi po umulan. Ah, uh, wala naman, wala. Malamig lang on Sunday. Ah, oh. Wear your ano, simbang Pinoy jacket, uh, hoodies. Diba? I think uh, some of you will be ano, uh, your 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 photos will be taken for the for the website. No, uh, please coordinate with uh, Pastor Cled. Uh, yes, fishbowl kuya. <laughs> okay, may bayad na po, may bayad na fishbowl. Good evening, uh, Sister Janet. And uh, good evening, Derek. And uh, well, this is here. So, okay. Hi, Edric. How are you? You always surprise me with your new haircut. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, praise support, uh, prayer request. Uh, praise the Lord for the salary increase of the Anastasia. Sana all. So, how about the others? Pray support, pray request. Go ahead, just unmute Kapo yourself. Pastor, si, uh, sorry po, si Anaya po, nalilagnat kagabi, ngayon po magaling na. So, oh, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Good, good. Good to hear those. Yeah. Kami po, Pastor. Go ahead, Tita. Uh, praise report po. Meron na po yung schedule sa medical, yung anak, ay, yung anak ko, Internet. sa Tuesday. Yes. Si Jarel sa Tuesday po at uh, ano ba yun? Hinihintay. Uh, Mag-firm na pastor yung ano nila, uh, interview nila. Hinihintay na lang yung instructions from uh, the embassy kung paano uh, mag-schedule ng uh, interview nila. Wow, wow, wow. And ang target date po ni nung anak ko, ang sabi niya, kung ma-interview sila by next week, gusto niya is February 3 nandito na sila. Wow, wow. <laughs> Parang ano ah, parang ano eh, telenovela na sinusubaybayan natin to. Eh. Masaya. Uh, <laughs> for a long period of time na pinag-replay natin. Eh. Yeah, parang Derek din to eh, parang ganun. <laughs> uh, sino po ba? Parang mga sina Carl James din to. Parang ganun yan, mga sinusubaybayan natin paparating. And it's nice to see them, di ba? In, uh, in the courtyard, uh, in flesh, di ba? So, we're excited. We're happy for you guys. Salamat po sa salamat po sa lahat sa inyo sa lahat ng mga prayers. Amen. We kumbaga uh, we join you doon sa joy na nararamdaman niyo. Syempre, family reunion is always a uh, a blessing, right? So, what else tayo? Magbasa muna tayo ng chat dito. Papalitsyon po si Papa pagdating ni Kuya. Ha, ha, ha. Sabi ni Rachel. Ala. <laughs> Kinumpormiso ka na ng anak mo. <laughs> All right. So, go ahead, Sister Faith. The woman of faith. Ay, ayun po. Uh, okay na po sila, Mama. Yay. <laughs> Pumabuti na po yung oh. pakaramdam. Nakita ko nga, send message siya. Sabi ko, okay na si Tita Peps. 
Yeah. <laughs> Tapos Good ano to po? Know. Ano po siya? Praise report din at prayer request. <laughs> so, um, we're, we're about to start with the renovation of our house. So, it's quite expensive eh, because of the labor, the cost of uh, material. So, but we're happy we're about, uh, kasi it's, it's going to commence finally after uh, decades of praying for provision. So, yun. And, um, Ano din po, prayer request din po na matapos siya that everything will be finished by the before the second week of February kasi my mom is planning to come back on February 15. So para hindi na po mag-extend. So, yeah, yeah. Wala pong problema, uh, maging problema. Yeah, hopefully wag mag-uulan para hindi maantala yung gawa. Opo. Yeah, Thank you po. Praise report, prayer request. Go ahead, Sister Rose. Ako po, Pastor po, uh, prayer request din po at saka at the same time praise report din po. Yung pong hmm. inaintay namin schedule po for surgery ng dad ko, meron na po sa 18. Uh, at hmm. the same time prayer request din po dahil nakakakaba. Pero we have to trust the Lord po and ask ng guidance niya po. Uh, surgery po ng dad ko. Sa 18 mm-hmm. po, next week. 18. Okay. Surgery okay. of... Ismael um, Mayo po. Ismael. Yeah, yeah. And double check ko lang dito. Sige, go ahead. Uh, how about the others? Thank you, Sister Rose. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ismael Mayo. Ismael. my surgery Jan- ano? I'm sorry si Sir Rose January 18 Apo January, January 18, 18. Thank you po. Uh, heart ba to sister? Apo heart po. Heart okay. Okay, okay, okay. So about the others, Chambre we will pray also for ano ano for uh, uh for Dizon uh, I forgot the first name sister uh, Ro- Romulo Dizon po Romulo Dizon yeah yeah Salamat Romulo Dizon oh yeah I Good evening, Pastor Ray. I miss you. Ano pa? Ano pa ang ating uh, praise support? Any praise support? Prayer request? Good evening, Pastor Bert. Ano pala si Pastor Bert? Good evening, Good Professor. Evening. Apo. Good evening, <coughs> po, Pastor. Good evening, MP Santos. <laughs> Good evening, Sister. Kamusta? Good to see you. <laughs> Hala ko si Yeng Santos eh. Sorry po. Pastor, good evening. Good evening po. <laughs> Yan po Ayan, kasi ginagamit evening. ko email. Yeah, so then for sure, tala lang, Pastor. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what else? Praise report. Try a request. Meron pa ba? Praise report, prayer request. Ako, Pastor, meron po. Ako nagpasalamat po kay Lord na um, mm-hmm. the first day sa work po after the baby bonding. Naging smooth oh. po. A little bit stressful pero while prayer and fasting, while nagpa-fast, mas mahirap po <laughs> while at work. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, mm-hmm. after that. And also, yeah, after the maternity leave, uh, yeah. Apo, go back to work na po. And nagpapasalamat po ako sa Lord kasi I think talaga effective yung prayer and fasting, Pastor Jeff, kasi um I think rinibuyok ka agad ako ni Lord nung, nung sinabi, um one of my coworkers said something na parang wrong about the patient. And parang nag-smile ako, pero sabi, parang sabi ng Lord, 
stop that parang ganun so na, na ano ako na, na no that was wrong so yeah yung mas sensitive talaga po tayo right now so i thank god na rinirebuke ako ng lord and what i should not do yun po amen amen thank you thank you yes good evening sister lv good evening sister fed dumok Good evening, good, evening. good evening po. Magandang gabi. Alright. So, anything else? Praise report. Prayer request. Or during our popcorn time, popcorn prayer time, you can utter it. Uh, just unmute yourself. Pray for it. No, feel free to pray. No, Don't be shy. Alright? As we go on with our devotion, Eh, feel free to uh, share your ideas, whatever you're thinking. Uh, if there's anything that you want to add, no, or anything that uh, uh, something that uh, you want to share with, oh, please, please do so. Okay, Mahia. All right. So let's go. I think uh, we can start with our devotion. No. Um okay okay let me just uh, share this uh, screen para makita natin <clears throat> all right all right so good evening uh, welcome to 2023 Prayer and Fasting Zoom Gathering. Today, tonight is our third day, third night. Uh, so, how was it? Uh, kamusta naman ang uh, <laughs> prayer and fasting? Uh, I'm sure uh, some of you, uh, lalo na yung mga first-timers, uh, uh, there, there's a lot of questions. No? Some of the questions that are being asked during prayer and fasting time, una, pastor, what if I missed, no, uh, or I, I, uh, umbaga, I failed, or for example, uh, you choose, uh, you will skip lunch, or you will skip dinner, or you will skip breakfast, no, but if, but uh, you forgot and then you 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 ate, or for example, you your your fasting is no sweets, no meats, and then. Then you forgot. Then you, uh, you ate a hamburger, whatever. No, it's okay. Don't be harsh. No, sa sarili mo. This is not a competition. No, all you have to do is just for the next day reset. Whatever you're, you're uh, dealing with God. No, whatever uh, fasting uh, procedure uh, na na deal mo with the Lord. It's okay. Just uh, have a reset by the following day. You know? So no pressure, sabi nga ni CJ. All you have to do, it, it, what is important is the motive of your heart. All right? So, all right. So praise support and prayer requests. If you have more praise support later, please uh, 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 just share it to the group. No, Any prayer requests, just write it down in the chat room. Natin. All right, let's start. With our pagubulay bulay sa salita ng Dios in English, reflecting on the word of God. All right, last, uh, first night, we talked about forgiveness. Last night, we talked about uh, anxiety, right? Tonight, ano mga pag natin? No? It's about the lion's den. No? Out of the lion's den. Our. Um, our uh, word for tonight is from Daniel chapter 6, verse 22. It says here, My God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. Wow. Lord, we thank you for this evening. Thank you for these beautiful people, Lord God, uh, willing to learn from you. We pray for wisdom. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you teach us tonight. Talk to our hearts. And uh, may you open our ears, Lord God. May we practice this, Lord God, in our daily lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So are we all familiar with the story of Daniel? No? 
and uh, uh, Daniel in the Lions then. All right. So yes, kind of. Yeah. So let me share to you a story you know, na I read. Uh, hindi ako yung nagsulat nito. It says here, when Taher and his wife, Donya, you know, became believers in Jesus, probably they are from the Middle East or an Islamic country, they knew they risked persecution in their home country. Indeed, one day, Taher was uh, blindfolded, handcuffed, imprisoned, and charged with apostasy. Before he appeared at the trial, he and Donya agreed that they wouldn't betray Jesus, that they will stay in their faith. No, What happened at the sentencing amazed him. He was surprised because the judge said, I don't know why, but I want to take you out of the whale's and lion's mouths. Then Taher knew that God was acting. He knew that the Lord is intervening. He couldn't otherwise explain the judge referencing to two passages in the Bible, which is from Jonah and Daniel. Taher was uh, released from prison, and the family later found exile elsewhere. Taher's surprising, surprising release echoed the story of Daniel. Daniel is a skilled administrator. He's not the, uh, not the wife, uh, the husband of Aileen. Daniel is a skilled administrator, but also Daniel is a skilled person. He was going to be promoted, which made his colleagues jealous. Plotting his downfall, they convinced King Darius to pass a law to pass a law against praying to anyone other than the king, which obviously Daniel ignored because he worshipped the one true king. King Darius had no choice but to throw him to the lions. But God rescued Daniel. And salvation... I'm sorry, what's this? And saved him, sorry, from death. No, God rescued Daniel and saved him from death. Even as he saved Taher through the judge's surprising release. Many believers today suffer for following Jesus. And sometimes they even are killed. When we face persecution, we can deepen our faith. When we understand that God has always, or that God has ways, we can't even imagine. Know that He's with you in whatever battles you face. All right. Question. Have you experienced, no? Well, probably some of you experienced persecution or, but uh, even uh, people plotting against you or, you know, uh, being picked off, uh, I mean, uh, kumbaga, uh, pinagbintangan kayo or something, no, and then you experience that the Lord no, has other plans, no, and saved you. Anybody who wants to share? Sino ba ang ating mga bagong pasok? Good evening, Zoom user. May I know your name, Zoom user? Uh, si Ives po ito. <laughs> Good evening, Ives. Kamusta, kamusta? First time, naka-join. <laughs> yes. Yan. Nirename natin para makilala ka nila. Alright. So, any any sharer for tonight regarding wa it's a story na we read about Daniel. No, kita sabi dito. Daniel chapter 6 verse 22. May God sent his angel and he shot mouths of the lions. No, were you in trouble? No, and then the Lord caused 
the mouths of the lions to be shut and uh, you experience the goodness of God. No? So anybody wants to say here? <clears throat> yeah. Is it worth following Jesus than following, uh, you know, uh, following men, the wisdom of men? Any experience that uh, would you like to share? <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll share to you something uh, what I experienced personally. Uh, uh, when when I when I when I joined uh, no, LA Phil Naz in March 1, 2020, uh, before that, I shared it to a fellow, uh, to a colleague of mine, no, uh, also part of the clergy. And um uh, uh, I told that person that uh, I'll be. I'm planning. No, I'm planning. I'm planning to respond to God's call to, I uh, know, to to minister in Los Angeles area. And then I was told, "Na don't go there, no, because uh, you'll just uh, be repeating what happened in the history." No? And uh, you will not be successful there because you you reside. Uh, you you are from Valencia, so it's a long drive, and uh, it's a it's a dying church anyway. So it's not uh, it's not worth it, you no, know, to go there. Uh, and it's a wisdom, you know, from from a man. Uh, and then I I was discouraged, and I asked God, "Sabi ko, Lord, will I follow you or will I consider?" the advice of this person and then the lord told me just focus on what i'm telling you to do so, and then another thing that i was told is that uh that church should not have a senior pastor because uh people coming from the philippines that is their first stop los angeles once they they uh they're okay they that they'll be able to buy a house in the valley or wherever no or in covina or wherever no then they will just leave and and then and uh it's like a uh 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 what do you call this no a basket case uh and also i was told that uh uh what they call this? Uh, if ever you go there, no, because I also shared that we're planning to, you know, to 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 be to be an independent church, you no. Know? And I was told, no, don't be an independent church. So everything that I I, I told that person, meron siyang counter, you know, uh, idea, you no. Know? First. When I came to LA first in March 1, 2020, there was pandemic, you no. Know? So probably, uh, uh, what he's saying is true, you no. Know? But as I remained focused, the leadership remained focused. We were able to, you know, uh, as I said before, if we will die, we will die gracefully. But we never, we never experienced death, right? Actually, we are more than alive than ever. Amen. So, and then uh, we installed uh, the the board decided to install the new senior pastor. And uh, if we get if we didn't get a pastor, then we we will we'll go nowhere because nobody will, uh, will 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 be the captain of the ship. And then I was told that uh, if your people will be able to buy houses away from LA. They will leave the church. There are many families who bought houses outside LA and they still remain worshiping in LA up to now. So everything that person told me was wrong. Amen. So 
So I, 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 um, I realized that it is very important to listen to the Holy Spirit than listening to the wisdom of men. Amen. So, yeah, I was, I was even told, I remember, no? I was told that uh, apart, apart from our group, you will not survive. And my Lord never told me that, no? Because when we decided to be a part of that group, we never just survive, we thrive. Amen? So there's so much um, blessings when you listen to the Holy Spirit. Amen? How about you? What's your story? Uh, anybody who like uh, discourages you or because no? it's a kid Daniel, no? plotting to kill him. Ne, no? I don't think uh, anybody plotted naman to kill you. No? But uh, anything that even just you know, minor things or you know, minor incidents that uh, somehow uh, you were discouraged. No? But still, you, you decided to go on, listen to the Holy Spirit and move forward with what the Lord is telling you. Right? How about the others? Anybody? Good evening, Kuya Manuel. Good evening, Tita Fe. Hi, Kiko. Good evening. Good evening, po, Pastor. Good evening, po. Good, Good evening, evening, po. So, how about the others? Any... Uh... Any experience, no, like a Daniel experience, but ne not necessarily being killed. <laughs> Go ahead, Anastasio. Um, na share ko na po ito, Pastor da before eh, pero ano, na share ko na po sa ibang ipang hariri yung story ko na um, it was late 2019 before the pandemic. Um, nag apply apply na po ako sa ibang iba-ibang companies. Mm. And then um nung dumating po yung 2020 um yun nga po in, sa current work ko na nabigyan po ako ng raise. Hindi po ako natanggap doon sa mga inaapplyan ko. So na discourage ako para nalungkot ako and then Pero binigyan po ako ng race and then nag-pandemic. Pero yun po yung talagang will ni Lord kasi yung company po namin is essential. Hindi po nag nag uh, nag provide we provide um computer systems, uh, hardware and um laptops, desktop servers sa mga uh, government. So we were considered essential and tuloy-tuloy po yung business. So hindi po ako nawalan ng trabaho during the pandemic. So it was like um parang dinirek dinirek po ako ni Lord na oh po ka sa diyan kasi pagka bago ka diyan matatanggal ka for sure. <laughs> if you're a new employee nagkatatanggalan matatanggal ka diyan. So pinastay po ako ni Lord para hindi ko mas maganda yung direction na pinakita sa akin ni Lord para dire-diretso po may may trabaho po ako. May bonus pa. So yun po. May bonus, yeah, pa, may, may, bonus pa. May race pa. <laughs> Amen. Naalala ko lang din, uh, wisdom of man, sabi sa akin, kasi uh, I remember uh, when we reopened LA, ang plano is that isarado yung basketball ministry. No? And then uh, eventually, Sabi namin, sabi namin nila kuya naman, hindi, ano, tuloy natin, no? Then eventually, it was, uh, it was reopened, no? Maganda, maganda yung nangyari, everything is okay. But the problem is, when we re-evaluated re it, kumbaga, wala tayong sole profit, si Aldrin lang, no? Tsaka yung family niya, no? Sabi natin, then uh, we decided na, uh, kumbaga, kung laro lang naman ng basketball, they can do it somewhere else, no? 
But for us kasi, uh, specific tayo. Eh. Kung baga, meron tayong focus. No? If we do something, it must be done for the glory of God. Let's just play basketball. So why don't we do yung basketball, ipasok natin sa linggo, tapos ang paglaruin natin, yung mga ano, yung mga umaaten. Pag hindi ka umaten, hindi ka makakalarong basketball. <laughs> Di ba? So, ang daming ano, ang dami kong ang dami kong uh, kontrang inabot to, no? Tapos, even sa may isang pasto, lumapit sa akin, kanya na lang daw yung ministry dahil, uh, ano, so sabi ko, eh, eh, walang soul profit, eh. Di ba? So, Medyo nagduda rin sa ako sa sarili ko na as I evaluate this, no. Ang gusto ko lang naman i-glorify si Lord, di ba? Eh total kung basketball lang naman, madami na naman namang court silang pwedeng paglaruan. Pero sa atin kasi kung gusto nating magpa-basketball, dapat may nasasagip na kaluluwa. Di ba? So, ni-evaluate namin nila Kuya Noel and then inopen namin yung linggo. And uh, wow. Uh, hindi lang basketball lang lumabas. Meron pang volleyball, may table tennis, may badminton. Diba? At saka ang pinakamatindi, nagamit yung basketball para, ano, saka yung, saka yung volleyball, para makapagpapasok, no? makapag-invite ng tao na umatin ka sa church and then magbabolleyball and basketball tayo. No? It became a very successful uh, ministry. Uh, nobody uh, thought about it no kumbaga uh, kami naman nila kuya no but gusto lang namin matuloy lang mag basketball tayo tayo lang no and hoping na may, may sumali and now meron na ngayon ha may tinatawag ng first 10 alam niyo yung first 10 yung unang sampung darating sa umaga ng linggo yun ang unang maglalaro <laughs> so <laughs> ibig sabihin ng dami na naglalaro no so nakatuwa lang kasi dati nagbabayad tayo doon sa ano sa gym Doon sa mga outsider na nagbabasketball na niyayaya natin tuwing linggo, tuwing sabado, hindi naman napunta. So, pero na ano na, 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 na sa loob ng 15 tao, lab, ano, 15 years, no? Wala tayong ano, wala tayong naani masyado na kaluluwa no? except for the Anastasio family. And then after noon, uh, uh, Itong basketball ministry ngayon at saka volleyball ministry, grabe, ang daming naani na pamilya. No? Seeing different faces na naglalaro, talagang nakakablest. At uh, ang ibig sabihin na nakakatuwa, kasi ang nakakatuwa kasi, ang, inib- ang ibig ko kasi sabihin ng soul profit, di mo papalaro akong basketball. Connecting event yan eh. Tapos yayain ko ng Sunday. So pupunta yung mga pastor, mag- magpipreach ng Sabado, tapos yayain sila ng Sunday. Opo, opo, punta po kami, punta po kami. Wala naman dumarating, di ba? Pero, ginawa natin, o oh, sige, mag-basketball na lang kay sa ibang lugar. Wala na kami Saturday basketball. Kasi nagbabayad din tayo dun eh. May kumagasos tayo, pagka-party nila, ginagasos na natin sila. So, it's a connecting event. And total, tagal na rin naman namin na nag-share ng gospel. Eh, kahit sabi naman sa Biblia, pag walang response, pag pag tayo. O lipat tayo ng linggo, wala tayong bayad, tapos hindi ka na mag invite mag-church kasi ang requirement para makapaglaro ka, kailangan nag-church ka. Di ba? So andun agad yung soul profit. Tubong lugaw talaga tayo. So nakakita tayo ng maraming kaluluwa na talagang uh, nagamit yung ministry na yun. No, And I, I, I even doubted my decision. No? And I, I even uh, uh, reconsulted Ang Panginoon. And then the Lord told me, focus, go for soul profit. No, And yet, here we go. We we harvested souls. Something like that. Yeah. So it pays again to listen sa wisdom ng Holy Spirit than sa wisdom of men. Diba? So plus, wala tayong ano, legal responsibility. Diba? Kasi dati, ang laki ng legal responsibility natin, nagpapalaro tayong basketball. Pag may nagsuntukan siya, nako, may nagdemandahan, yari tayo. Pero dito, wala tayong legal responsibility kasi ha, ano eh, controlled natin dahil ang naglalaro, puro church members. Diba? So hindi naman mag-uupakan niya mga yan. Eh. At saka nandun yung respect sa bawat isa. Diba? Mas maganda 
mas maganda yung atmosphere. Di ba? Unlike kasi before noon, di natin sila kilala, may mga incidents na hostile sila, nakakasuntukan, nagkakano, hindi ko naman mapipigilan. Di ba? <laughs> so dito at least medyo controlled natin itong uh, Sunday. Di ba? And uh, it, it, it became a beautiful connecting event. for a lot of people especially for men and even sa mga ano sa mga youth no madami nag volleyball madaming natutong mag volleyball dahil sa sa ministry na pinangunahan ni Brother Cyrus pagkatapos uh, nakakalaro natin yung mga Koreans di ba so yeah so again listen to the holy spirit not to the wisdom of men anything else any uh, any other Uh, stories or parang alam mo yun uh, the Lord protected you the Lord uh, kumbaga guided you no? kasi alam niyo may story ni Daniel si Daniel kasi is a young man very promising a prophet no? very godly at uh, he was uh, he was from Israel taken out from Israel because under siege sila no baga parang Philippines kinuha ng Spain something like that no and then he was exiled so kasi yung 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 uh, yung yung kumuha sa kanila yung mga Babylonians no uh, uh, ang ginawa nila para hindi makapag para humina yung kanilang sinakop na bansa kinuha nila yung mga the best and the brightest So ginawa nila mga servers pagdating doon sa kung saan sila naka ano, naka nakadestino. Oh, etong si Daniel, eh, inabot niya na yung Babylonian Empire, nalipat pa siya sa Persian Empire. No, ito Persian Empire to eh, no? So ano no, di, di Persian uh, I forgot. Uh, I ko yung ano ko. Pero inabot niya na yung Babylonian Persian si King Cyrus kasi yung ano sa sa Persia no. Pero ito Uh, dito sa under ni King Darius no alam niyo bang favorite siya nito no good friend sila at ang ginawa ng mga nagseselos kay Daniel yung mga advisor ng king dahil nga may favor yung king sa kanya sinetap siya so unknowingly yung king sabi nila king kapag ka meron pong hindi nagworship sa inyo papatay natin padala natin sa lions den so pumirma ng edict o pumirma ng batas yung king eh nahuli nila si Daniel na nagpe-pray kay Lord. Eh syempre hindi naman hindi naman susunod si Daniel. So set up talaga 'yon. So kahit ayaw nung hari, napilitan siyang padala sa lions den kasi nga hindi niya pwedeng baliin yung sarili niyang rules, parang ganoon. Hindi magandang tingnan. So pinadala siya sa lions den. And then what happened? Even though, even though, no? Even though sabi ng nakakarami, sabi ng matatalino, sabi ng lahat ng tao, sabi ng hari that they should bow down, he never bowed down. So he remained faithful to his God. He remained focused. Hindi siya nakinig sa tao, nakinig siya sa Panginoon. So what happened? Ayun, nung binato siya sa lions din, nung binato siya sa lions din, nung binato siya sa lions din, eh, uh, inano siya uh, shinat down ng Panginoon yung mga bibig. Yeah. So nakaligtas siya, di ba? May joke nga doon eh, no? Kaya daw hindi kinain si Daniel ng mga lion kasi Christians na daw yung mga lion. Pero mali naman 'yun. Mali 'yun Tita Faye, yung joke na 'yun. Kasi kung totoong Christians yung mga lions, malamang sasabihin ng mga lions Thank you, Lord, for our food in Jesus' name. <laughs> Patay si Daniel. <laughs> o kayo, ano bang mga storya nyo na pwede nyong ihalin tulad sa experience ni Daniel? Papagod na akong kaka-English eh. <laughs> limit alam niya naman limited lang english ko <laughs> so uh, what are your stories no that is uh, somehow related to the experience of daniel well ako, pastor go ahead dave yeah. go ahead yeah um every sunday after church 
So, mm-hmm. late akong dumarating sa work and lahat ng mga co-workers ko tinatawanan ako. Sinasabi nila na pag Sunday ang bait-bait ko but for the rest of the week ako daw si Satanas. And it's mm-hmm. rather insulting pero I just you know, I just prayed for them kasi mahirap dahil <clears throat> syempre lahat ng holidays ko kailangan ko itrabaho yon Weekends, obviously, and Wednesdays. So, it's a big sacrifice for me na kung ano yung na-accumulate kong vacation each month, hahatiin ko para lang makapag-spend time sa church. Um, this January, actually, dahil lima yung Sundays natin, mas maiksi yung stay ko sa church. And I really don't mind kasi pagdating dito, alam ko, ganun din naman yung treatment nila sa akin. Kahit nasabihin yung two hours lang yung nawala ako or three hours na nawala ako, ganun pa rin ang treatment nila. In fact, uh, ang feeling nila na parang I take advantage of everything na oh, Sunday, wala masyadong tao. Because obviously, nobody wants to show up. Pero lahat ng mabigat na trabaho, binibigay nila sa akin every Sunday. Um, ngayon lang, I'm very thankful kasi in spite of the busy schedule, pinayagan nila ako na sumali sa Zoom meeting. And I'm, I'm just very grateful for that. Um, yun lang, I, I really don't get accepted here sa work dahil, you know, whenever I... I tell them about the good news. Laging, they, they always mock me. Sabi, oh, praise the Lord. You know, in front of everybody and then everybody would just laugh. And then, ako natatakot sa kanila kasi, syempre, no matter how much I want to share, parang sarado isip nila, sarado puso nila. And it's a struggle. I mean, no, knowing na gusto kong makapanalo ng kaluluwa but then I don't know where to start. Yun lang ang struggle ko dito but then you know I, I know God has purpose God has plan and I will just keep on doing what I do. Na kahit na wala kaming bakasyon mag-anak because of no vacation hours accumulated on my part okay lang. Okay lang. Pero yun lang ang sana ma, makayanan ko you know with the grace of God is yung persecution could be so work. Mahira. Amen. Ibali nakapag-snow na naman kayo, Brother David. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 you see, seeking first the kingdom of God, no, and all these things will be added unto you. No, not just His kingdom, but His righteousness. No? Um, putting God first. No? It's a wisdom coming from the Lord. No, um, A lot of people will tell you, oh, don't waste your time no? going to church no there's a lot of things to do on a sunday you can work you, know, you can be more uh rich you, know, you can do a lot of uh you can you don't have to you don't have to uh uh umaga, uh you don't let the opportunity pass by you know? so that, go 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 lang okay yeah, do your hobbies do your madaming pwedeng suggest ang mundo na to and a lot of people around us but syempre if we remain focused to God, no, there will be always benefits, bl- blessings, no, like, uh, uh, y- y- iba kasi rin eh, iba kasi yung rest na nakukuha mo when you go to church on a Sunday. No? At lalo na, it's a good um, theory in practice when it ter- in terms of modeling sa ating mga anak. Uh, being in church is, uh, kasi we cannot tell them, oh, go, uh, go to church and yet, di tayo nakikita nila no? so kumbaga it's a good ano it's a good decision actually no? it's a uh, uh, worth emulating no? kaya ay nadi si Dave <laughs> thank you brother Dave how about the others anybody else go ahead sister Faith ako pastor Jeff uh, siguro I remember when I was I was still in UPLD. Okay na lang. 
ano um kasi I, I'm I'm very active in campus ministry like in discipling the students the faculty because there was this one time na I I was assigned in in a certain administrative post like, like overseeing the student organization so tapos there ano parang part of the program there was to distribute bibles eh, diba UPLB is a secular university so it's a national university tapos parang um basta ano sila may may ganung siyang feels na somehow medyo gray kasi yung definition ng secular so like when you do that and they they catch you so parang you would you would uh experience persecution so anyway i was the i was one of the people who were overseeing that activity and then someone took a picture of that and uh, parang they they made an a, a very malicious article about it and then it got posted on social media tapos face ko yung nandoon <laughs> so as in uh, para ako yung ako yung nasa harap nung parang hindi naman siya hindi naman siya ano basta controversy siya and then parang i receive a lot of alam mo yun parang harsh words na professor ka pa naman ginagawa mo yan nasa university kang ganyan ganyan syempre miyak ako kasi parang Lord, but I was just trying to serve you here, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Parang was, but I, I didn't know how to handle it. Tapos it became a big issue. Kasi parang the good thing about, ang maganda lang po nung time na yun, that the head of the university was a Christian. Tapos the head of the student affairs was also a Christian. So ang galing lang din yung how God orchestrated everything. And then, Apparently, the head of the atheist, parang the senior advisor of that organization who took a picture and wrote something malicious was my friend. So parang ano ko siya, office mate ko siya as in direct supervisor ko siya and then kaibigan ko siya. So when he saw that and he saw na my picture was there, pinagtanggol niya ako and then he called the attention of the students who did that. So parang... I feel like it was God's way of protecting me and the 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 people who organized the event. Because anyway, pag secular naman kasi everyone is open to do. Parang it's it's a free it's a free avenue if you want to distribute Bibles, if you want to distribute whatever uh, you want. So you're free to do that, and it's up to the discretion of the student if they will receive it or not. Parang you're not forcing them naman, but then they wrote something malicious and it became came a big issue but um but looking back parang looking back i realized that it was god's way of reminding me and even the people that i'm discipling during that time na yun nga not to be ashamed and uh to just do what god tells you to do because he will be the one to protect you so parang marami pong mga incidents na ganun eh pero yun yung isa sa naisip ko uh doon doon po Thank you. Thank you, Sister Faith. Ewan ko ba sa mga atheist, masyado silang busy pag-usapan yung isang bagay na hindi nila pinaniniwalaan. Hindi nyo ba nare-realize? <laughs> diba? I mean, you're giving so much time in talking about something you don't believe. Diba? Your battle cry is that you don't believe in God. Pero you keep on talking about the existence of God is not true. I mean, if I'm a true atheist, I will not even give any time and effort no, para to talk about something that I don't believe. But since they talking, keep on talking about something that na, na they don't believe, eh, ibig sabihin, naka-hardwired talaga sila to believe in God. Right? So, any other story or situation or anything you want to uh add regarding our topic tonight no sabi lang nung ano nung writer kanina many believers today suffer for following Jesus and sometimes they even are killed no when we face persecution we can deepen our faith when we understand that God has ways we can't even 
imagine. I mean, I know that he's with you in whatever battles you face. No, parang yung experience si Sister Faith, ni Brother Dave, and uh, and 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 the others. No, always know that he's with you in whatever battles you face. Kasama mo palagi ang Panginoon. Sabi nga ng kanta nila, Rachel, kasama mo ang Jones, di ako mangangamba. Di ba? How about the others? Meron pa? Opo, Pastor. Go ahead, sir. Uh, dati po kasi yung nung hindi pa po kami masyadong active po sa church ng Christian po, kahit, kahit po active na rin, I mean, pumupunta rin po kami dati sa church noon. Pero hindi po na isa sa buhay po yung, katulad po sa masamang bisyo po, sa pag-inom po. Kasi po yung mga kaibigan po namin, umiinom din po. So, uh, lumating po yung point na nakun, nakundik po ako na talagang hindi na po, totally na pong alisin po yun. So, parang naramdaman ko po sa mga kaibigan din na parang nag, naging outsider ka na rin sa kanila. Kasi hindi na hindi mo na ginagawa yung dating ginagawa mo. And then they try to tempt you from offering you again. Pero yung conviction ko po, baga, pinanindigan ko po kahit pinsan naramdaman ko na tinatawanan kanila. Na, siguro, kasi hindi mo na ginagawa yung ginagawa nila. Pero Uh, kahit dito po sa bahay, inalis ko po talaga. Kahit may bar counter po kami, wala na po yung alak. And um, I'm planning na talagang panindigan ko po yun. Kasi may mga anak din po ako at saka no, hindi po tama talaga na magbibisyo. Lalo ngayon po na mas natututo po ako sa, sa pagsimba rin po at saka sa mga sermons niyo po, sa service po, na... Kumbaga, tumatagos po sa puso mo. At saka hindi, ngayon na, nasabi ko po na kahit ano pong sabihin ng iba, basta alam niyo po na tama yung ginagawa niyo kasi dapat po makita sa atin yung pagiging kristyano. And doon po sa sa decision ko po ngayon, doon po ako mag-start. Amen. Yun man lang po maibigay ko sa Panginoon. Yun Amen. Lang po. Wow, nakabless naman. Nakabless naman, no, Sister Rose. Um, Naalala ko lang nung nagkaroon kami ng reunion ng mga high school batchmates, not even classmates but batchmates, uh, lahat ng mga taga California, ang reunion namin sa Beverly Hills. No? Siguro this was like 10 years ago, tagal na. Tapos uh, medyo siyempre, uh, social yung party kasi siyempre social yung host eh. So, madaming wine, madaming ano. And then, uh, nandun ako kasi excited ako makipagpentuhan about high school, ano mo yun, yung parang reminiscing about the past. Tapos iniwan nila ako dun sa sala. Tapos nagpunta sila lahat sa, ano, ano, sa, sa, ano, sa terrace. Tapos nanigarilyo sila dun. Sabi sa akin kasi, hindi ka naman kasi naninigarilyo. <laughs> Tapos ano uh, sa kwentuhan di ako kasali kasi nagiinuman sila. Eh uminom naman ako ng Coke pero parang di ako kasali so umuwi na lang ako ng luhaan. Nagpaalam na lang ako ng maaga kasi hindi ko na enjoy dahil hindi ako kasali no. Na parang wala, wala naman ako sinasabi ko anong trabaho ko o ano. Eh merong isang atan nag-leak na parang sinabi na oh yeah, pastor yan. So parang parang ganun. And Yun lang first kong first kong na experience sa isang group na parang na outcast ako kasi kahit naman sa mga mga barkada ko dati o whoever na dati kong mga kaibigan uh, kahit malaman na pastor ako hindi naman hindi naman issue sa kanila hindi eh. wala walang issue eto lang yung grupo lang na yun na for some reason bakit issue sa kanila yun da, hindi naman ako nagiging judgmental I, I'm, I'm not even talking about my faith or Jesus or the Bible what I just went there, gusto ko lang makipagpwentuhan about high school experiences. And yet, pinaramdam agad sa'yo na may wall na parang gano'n. No? Pero still, na, na, natemp ako na manigarilyo na lang kaya ako tsaka uminom para hindi, para, para ba, yung parang, para in ako sa kanila. Di ba? Pero hindi eh, kumbaga, 
wag na lang sayang eh. Kumbaga hindi hindi worth no ng uh, aking ano ng aking uh, kumbaga panawagan no. So actually nga kung tinanggal mo Sister Rose yung mga mga alak sa bahay niyo, ang problema ko, ang dami kong alak dito sa bahay. <laughs> ang dami nagbigay sa akin ng alak. Ang problema ko, hindi ko naman iniinom. Isa, isa kong problema, hindi ko naman maipamigay. <laughs> Sino mo magandang ipamigay? Kaya ginawa ko siyang, ano, uh, ang tawag nito, uh, tawag nito, nasa stockroom. No, hindi ko alam kung paano siya i-dispose, kung pa- paano proper na disposal. No, pero the point is, uh, madaming temptation, no? may time na, kasi da- dati pag nainom ka, Uh, minsan maalala mo na inom kaya ako ulit ang problema kasi sa pag-inom pag nabalik ka napakahirap umalis no? kumbaga, pag napasarap kumbaga, parang ganun so, ta- lalo na tayo sa Church of the Nazarene meron tayong ano, temperance movement eh. kumbaga, uh, we choose not no? talaga na, na uminom parang ganun. kahit konti parang gano'n. I'm not saying na kumbaga kasi 21 and above kayo. Legally, you can do that. But um, uh, what, what I'm saying is it must be something na dinil sa inyo ng, ng Lord no? sa heart ninyo. No? Kasi sa akin, ano eh, konting tikim lang, I might go back no, doing those things at uh, hindi ako magiging maayos na tao. No? Ang hirap naman, no? Uh, happy Sunday! Lasing ako, no? Habang nagsisip mo. <laughs> diba? See you at the courtyard! Diba? Ang hirap naman ng gano'n, di ba? <laughs> uh, mas mabuti daw maging, ano, maging filled with the Holy Spirit, not filled with the Spirit of Wine. Di ba? So, yeah, nakaka-bless yung testimony mo, sister. Talagang, ano, uh, ginawa mo. Uh, meron bang law sa pag-dispose ng alak? Hindi ko alam kung paano, eh. or just itatapon mo lang sa ano. Yeah. Oh, baka kasi kasi matrace doon sa, 'di ba, may mga bin number yung mga ano, yung uh, mga garbage can natin. Tapos tinapon mo doon smell law pala na ganun. Kasi naalala ko, may isang pastor nagkwento sa akin, nagtapon naman siya ng oil. Tapon siya ng oil doon sa loob ng trash bin niya. Tapos may pinadala siya ng ticket, no? Kasi bawal pala magtapon ng used oil ng coaches sa trash bin no tas na trace doon sa trash bin niya so anyway so what else anything else you want to share you want to share something about you stood up because you you are for god and you know you you are serving the lord and you believe in god you, you believe in his wisdom you believe in his direction not just in the wisdom of men no? na alam mo pwede ka mapahama Diba? Or, or not just suggestion but pressure. Pwede kasi pressure eh. No, do this. Diba? Para in ka or para ano. Diba? Anything else? Ako po, Pastor. Si Pastor share lang ko siya. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, ako po yung first generation believer. Kasi lahat naman kami sa family, we are all Christians. Meron okay. lang kaming mga iba-ibang paniniwala. So, ginamit ko yung believer because... I believe in the Bible, I believe in the power of prayer, I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. And the very um, number one na persecutor ko before is my family. Kasi nga mm. parang naiba na. I started to read the Bible, I started to pray. Mm. I started to do some things na parang nakakapanibago. Hindi naman dating ganyan yan. Ha. You know, you mm. started to you do some things na... Parang iba ka na, na brainwash ka, something like that. But I have seen God's uh, faithfulness. Kasi during that time, I was just 14 years old. Parang hindi pa yata uso yung discipleship, pastor. Kasi wala namang nag-disciple sa akin. I was just so hungry in the word. But talagang I just really read the word. And then napapaluha ako, napapaiyak ako. And then until such time, may mga moments naman, may mga high and lows yung walk ko kay God. Kasi parang pinanghihinaan din po ako eh. But then mm. I have seen God's strength. From that time on hanggang ngayon, I have seen God's goodness. Kasi mm. yung sa paglakad ng panahon, nakita ko na bago na yung family ko. 
yung nanay ko, yung nauna talagang nagagalit sa akin. But <laughs> then, nakita ko yung, yung ano lang, isunod ka lang talaga. Hindi mo naman kayang baguhin yung tao. Eh. We cannot change our family. We cannot change their beliefs. Kasi it's been long from the very start na ipinanganak ka. Yun na yung na, 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 na sa iyo eh. Kaya lang, nata, na itatama po ng Biblia yung paniniwala. And so I just mm. want to thank God for all the things that He has done in my life, in my family, and in my immediate family, sa husband ko, sa mga anak ko. Yun lang po. I just want to give glory to God because the Word of God is eternal. Heaven and earth will pass away, sabi niya, but my Word will remain. So, I have not seen or sabi niya doon na nor ear has heard what God has prepared for those who love Him. So, sa akin, I have received the love of God and in return, I loved Him. May mga ginawa si Lord na unimaginable. So, for that, I praise God po. Salamat. Amen. Standing your ground for God. No, ganun din yung ginawa ni, ni Daniel. No? At uh, talagang unang persecution na mararamdaman mo, bahay. Di ba? Eh, una, nung nag-share nga ako sa kamagana ko, ang unang sabi sa akin, nakainom ka na naman ba dyan? <laughs> Alalasing ako eh. <laughs> Dahil nga kung ano na daw kinakwento ko, sinasabi ko. Di ba? So, yun na uh, uh, kumbaga stick it out with God. So, amen. Anything else? So let's start to pray. Yan. Okay, let us pray. Any prayer request, uh, you can share it. No, doon sa ating group chat so we can pray about it. Or, pwede rin na uh, popcorn prayer. No? Just pray it out loud. Unmute yourself. Pray it out loud. Pag wala nagsasalita, ibig sabihin it's your turn. Diba? Pag nagkasabay kayo, edi magbigay yan na lang. Alright? Let's start. Uh, let's close our eyes. Uh, bow our heads. Uh, let's start praying. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Salamat, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, sa pagiging dakila mo sa buhay namin. Thank you for being so loving, Lord God, so compassionate. Yung perseverance mo sa amin, yung patience mo, Panginoon. Uh, thank you so much, Lord God. Yung, yung provisions mo. No? Uh, Lord God, uh, during this five days of prayer and fasting, Lord, we, was, we just want to keep on returning to you and make sure that there is nothing bothering us, any scenes, Lord God, that is hindering us. Why don't we do that? Uh, let us confess our sins to the Lord. Uh, let us uh, speak to Him through our mind. Don't have to utter any words, but just speak to our mind and ask for forgiveness. Let's do that. Hallelujah. For the next 30 seconds to 45 seconds, let's just utter in our mind that, Lord, forgive me in this area. Lord, forgive me for anything that I said, Lord God. Anything that you said that hurt somebody that you love or, you know, being tactless or whatever. Anything that you have thought of, uh, any malicious thoughts or any thoughts that are uh, uh, meant to, kumbaga uh, parang, uh, meant to harm another person or any thoughts na about you have so much uh, there's so much bitterness in you or anger ask the lord for forgiveness anything that you have uh, anything that you did na hindi natat na, natutuwa ang panginoon dahil sa ginawa mo or hindi siya nasihan dahil sa alam mong mali ang ginawa mo why don't we ask for forgiveness
Thank you, Lord God. Salamat, Panginoon. Salamat at uh, sa lahat ng pagkakataon, hindi lang salvation na binigay mo sa amin, magandang buhay, pati kapatawaran. Salamat, Panginoon. Thank you for all the provisions na receive namin, patuloy namin nare-receive at marireceive pa namin mga bagay na hinihiling namin sa inyo na bukas palad niyong Panginoon na binibigay. Panginoon, ang mga sumusunod na panalangin ay tinataas namin sa inyo at nawa ay sagutin niyo po kami, Panginoon, at bigyan niyo po ng, uh, ng uh, lunas ang aming dasal, Panginoon. Lord, uh, unang-una, we just want to lift up uh, ang kapatid namin, Panginoon, na si Romulo Dizon, Panginoon. We, we pray for complete healing. Uh, he is in pain right now, Panginoon. Uh, nasa diamond bar sila, Panginoon. We just want to pray na you touch him, Lord God. Lord, uh, if it is his time to graduate, Lord God, and you wish to to take him, Lord God, as uh, uh, as you welcome him, Lord God, sa, sa inyong presence, Panginoon, we pray, Lord, that uh, 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 give comfort sa family. And uh, ganun din, Panginoon, that you ease, Panginoon, or remove the pain that he's... Uh, experiencing right now. Give him peace, Lord God. Or uh, if it is your will, Lord God, we pray that you continue to heal him, Lord God. And we believe, Lord God, in Jesus' name, Panginoon. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lord God, we lift up to you si Brother Ishmael Mayo na nakatakda, Panginoon, ng surgery sa January 18, Panginoon. Uh, heart, heart surgery, Panginoon. We pray, Lord, na kayo magbigay ng wisdom sa doctors, uh, provision for them. We pray, Lord God, na uh, bigyan niya ng kapayapaan sa puso ang, mga, mga, ang kanyang asawa, kanyang mga anak, mga kamag-anak, kaibigan, Panginoon, that everything will be okay, that uh, he'll be out soon, no? uh, as soon as possible from the hospital, uh, alive and very much healthy again, Lord God. Hallelujah. You can start uh, praying uh, for whatever prayer request that the Lord is uh, leading you. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for your love. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, O oh God, for your presence in our midst though we may be far from one an one another we know you are present because our faith is in you and we are united together lord god in love through jesus christ lord god i pray for the church times are hard oh god but and temptations are there but people are around but elements so we pray, O oh God, that you will continue to protect our church, protect our pastors, O oh God, our leaders, every member, Lord, protect us all. And thank you, God, for protecting us, O oh Lord, from enemies, if there be any, from sickness, O oh God, O oh Lord, from threat, from anything else, protect the church and all the churches your churches across the world thank you for the people for your love for the people who are on the streets the nights are too cold even the days oh god are cold be with them cover them with your love protect mm -hmm. them oh god from any sickness provide for their needs we pray that's the hearts of your people that mm -hmm. we that they may receive love real oh god and your protection. Thank you, God. We commit all of us to you. And we thank you for your faithfulness to us. Put a heads, oh God, a protection around each one of us. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord God, we request, Lord God, the complete healing, Lord God, for Derek and uh, Tita Bilma, Lord God. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that the uh, insurance of Derek, Lord God, will cover all his medical bills, Lord God. Mm -hmm. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you remove the trauma that they experienced, Lord God. And we pray, Lord God, that uh, uh, you return, Lord God, uh, in a thousandfold, Lord God, uh, the, 
the, the materials that was lost, Panginoon. We, we, we love you. We, we thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we remember Brother Mando who's having a kidney problem. Panginoon, we pray, Lord God, that you heal him, Lord God, and uh, may, be, uh, be out of the, may he be out of the hospital as soon as possible in Jesus' name. We also pray, Lord God, for Bob D. Giacomo, Lord God, in dementia, Panginoon. Uh, we believe that you can repair, Lord God, his brain, Lord God, and uh, remove the dementia, Panginoon. We pray, Lord God, that for complete healing and uh, 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 may, may he will not be lost again or uh, we pray Lord God that, that uh, for uh, continuous comfort and love coming from his family in Jesus name mm -hmm. Lord we pray for Vivian Billia Flor Lord God we pray that uh, you 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 fix lord god uh, the heart problem lord god provide for their family for their uh, hospital bills lord god and we pray lord god that uh, you bring comfort to their family lord we pray lord god for uh we thank you lord god for the healing of the anastasia family panginoon we still remember uh uh pastor bert lord god uh your flu and sister min is uh, coughing and uh, we thank you for the healing of the maranan family uh, as well as panginoon i uh, continue to uh, heal Pastor Cled, Lord God, on her mm -hmm. coughing, Lord God. We lift up to you, Savior, a friend of Rick Isidro, Lord God, the victim of hit and run. Mm -hmm. Lord, we lift up to you, Lord God, yung family na to. May he be out of the hospital as soon as possible. And um, pagalingin niyo po siya, provide for them, Lord God, lalo na sa kanila mga hospital bills, Lord. We lift up to you, Alice Adenbrook. Uh, ALS, Panginoon, we, we pray that uh, she may find uh, uh, a good uh, caregiver, Lord God, that will take care of her and also uh, to be healed, Lord God, from ALS. We remember our district superintendent, Greg Garman, that you give him good health and complete rest, Panginoon, sa kanyang vacation. As he, and as he go back to work, Lord God, we pray that uh, uh, you uh, continue to uh, prosper him and bless him, Lord God, whatever he do, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, Lord, um, dinadalangin po, po, po Panginoon, ang lugar po namin ngayon sa bakalat na patuloy po uh, umuulan since today, Lord. Lord, agabayat mo po ang family doon, protect mo po sila, Lord. Even, Lord, ang um, mga tao doon na nakakaranas ng baha at yung mga estudyante hindi nakakapasok pa rin noon because of that. Lord, we, we believe, Lord God, that you are the king of the flood, Lord God, and we know, Lord God, na um, ikaw po ang magpapastak ng reyna yung Panginoon na wherein makontinue nila, Lord God, yung mga gawain nila um, yung mga prayer meeting nila, Lord God, yung mga Bible study nila, Lord, um, Lord, I pray it may help, Lord, um, uh, protect us from the uh, cover them with your mighty wings. Um, thank you so much, Lord God. Please be free. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Lord, we continue to pray for uh, Ricky, uh, recovery from uh, his brain surgery. Uh, Lord, we pray for complete uh, healing and may he be out of the hospital as soon as possible, Lord God. And also, Lord, we lift up to you, Nanay Leonila Lopez, uh, orbital lymphoma, complete healing for her, Lord God. Uh, we pray for Patrick Noel, the son of John Noel. Uh, may he be able to walk. <clears throat> Makaupo siya, Panginoon. Makasakay ng wheelchair. Makapunta ng church, Panginoon. We pray for Nathan Kema, son of Pastor Dondi, for complete healing. We pray, Lord God, for Sister Mini to pass her chemical safety inspection of Arlita High School on January 17. Um, we continue to pray for Joshua, for his documents, a uh, new job, Panginoon, and a place to stay. 
we continue to pray for Sister Fedu Maclargad about her traffic violation ticket na ma-wave, Panginoon. We pray for comfort sa family ni Brian Rhodes na for his passing, Lord God, especially for Sister Belinda. We pray for Maynor, sa car accident niya, Panginoon, mabigyan niya siya, Panginoon, ng bagong sasakyan para sa work na magamit niya. Lord, we lift up to you, JB. Uh, we pray for complete healing, Panginoon, sa kanyang marriage, Panginoon. May you bring back together uh, this couple, the entire family, and may we see them as one unit, Lord God, one family in the church, Panginoon. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, patuloy pa rin po namin pinagdasasal po, Lord, ang lahat po nang naapektuhan ng mass layoffs, especially sa mga um, employees po na, na nakabase po sa San Francisco, Lord. We pray, Lord, at mabigyan din po sila ng magandang opportunity, Lord, and uh, makapag-provide din po sila sa kanilang mga pamilya. This is yes, and this is Lord, we also remember and pray for... Um... Chris Escolano, Lord God, who just had surgery, Lord God, sa kanyang aneurysm, Lord God. May he continue to recover well, Lord, and uh, wala pong maging uh, drawback sa kanyang pag-recover. And sana po mas safe po siya, Lord God. Speak to him, Lord God. Use him, Lord God, for your glory. Na sana po ay uh, maging born again po siya. And uh, marami po siyang kaluluwa na mahatak din po, Lord God. Lalo po mga... Um, kasama po namin sa pagbabasketball. Lord, this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, uh, we want to lift up to you as well, Lord God, right now. Si Jill, uh, she, uh, she is uh, experiencing an uh, uh, anxiety attack. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we uh, bind the spirit, Lord God, and as well, even right now, Lord, uh, release her from that kind of spirit and let your peace, O oh God, be upon her. And ganon din po, Panginoon, we leave up to you, Wehan, as they prepare to come back, Lord, from Japan, going back here in the U.S., Lord, na safety trip pa rin sa kanila, Panginoon. Amen. Jesus name, amen. amen. Lord, we lift up to you, Edder, that there will be no recurring on his lymph nodes. Finally, we pray Lord, that uh, you, you will give the complete healing that he needs, Lord God. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I live up also to you, Father God, my son, James. Uh, it's uh, his birthday tomorrow. Lord, uh, I pray na continue, Lord God, to draw his heart to you. At ganun din po, Panginoon, whatever the desire of his heart, Lord God, uh, it will give glory to your name. Salamat po sa buhay niya. Bless her, bless him and Joan as they continue, Lord God, in their relationship as one, Father God. Jesus' name, amen. 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 Uh, Lord, dinadala din po namin sa panalangin yung father ni Noel. Ngayon po, Panginoon, uh, magta-travel po siya pa po ng Vietnam para po siya uh, doon po siya magpapagamot ng kanyang agalstones. Uh, Lord, uh, protect him uh, and Lord God, magpagaling sa kanya. Lord God, and Lord, um, magigyan po siya ng nakas ng loob at even strength pa ginoon sa pag-face ng ganito ng mga situation, Lord God. Lord, we know that you are the God, God of, uh, of all the doctors and ikaw lang po ang makapagpagaling sa kanya. We know that the doctor can cure him, but you are the God who him, who will heal him, oh God. Thank you so much, Lord. This I'm Lord, we pray, Lord God, for all the babies, Lord God, especially Lord God, see Naomi. Thank you for healing her. Thank you for the complete healing. Lord, we pray, Lord God, for uh, uh, Nathan, Panginoon, that you also keep him safe, Lord God. 
and may you always be saved, Lord God. Protect the babies in the church and the other babies, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that you will continue, oh God, to just send more laborers in your vineyard. Lord, the church is growing. We pray, oh Lord God, that uh, you will just continue to move in the hearts of your people, to the lives of your people, oh God. To just really make a difference in this generation, Father God, in our time, in our season. We pray that you will continue to fill us with your spirit, that we may continue, oh God, to hear from you and to obey you, Lord. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God, we, we lift Amen. up to you uh, the upcoming D groups, Lord. Lord, we pray that it would all go smoothly and that you wouldn't let any plans of the enemy uh, from coming, God. Lord, we pray that uh, it would be a, a good opportunity, Lord, to, to delve deeper into your word, to study it together so that if we have any questions, Lord, we can help each other un, uh, with any questions we may have about your word. Uh, may we enjoy it, Lord. Uh, be the center of it all, God. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we live up to you right now, Father God, all those countries that are uh, threatening other countries like China, uh, even Iran right now, they are preparing uh, uh, a large of contingent of ship, uh, warship in somewhere in Panama Canal or somewhere in Middle East. And as well, Lord, we pray for Russia, uh, the war in Ukraine. Uh, Lord, we pray that uh, you'll be the one to uh, take over, oh God, take control for all these countries that are aggressively taking other countries, Lord God. And there are many people who are already being displaced and even that, Father God. And as well, Lord, we remember your people, the nation Israel. That every time that we pray, Lord God, you, you, you told us to keep in remembrance your people. So we choose to bless your nation, Lord God, the nation Israel. As you have said that those who bless your people will be blessed. So tonight we bless your people, Lord God. We choose to bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we thank you for tonight. Thank you, Lord God, for all the answered prayers, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for this great power, the opportunity to pray and tap in your power, Lord God. We, we want to see miracles, Lord God. We want to witness your uh, glorious power, Lord God, being displayed, Lord God, in front of people, especially those who don't believe, Lord. We pray, Lord God, that uh, all our prayers will be answered, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Lord God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. God amen. bless you. All right, picture, picture. Dalawang set ulit kasi dalawa, madami tayo eh. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, buksan na ang mga bintana ng mga nagaganda. Alright. Ay, si Neita, no? Amukhang kamukha ni Noel, no? <laughs> Noel, parang sinirox mo. Kamukha rin ni Jaja. Alright. Okay, at the count of three. Okay. One, two, three, and smile. Okay, next batch, next batch. Wait, wait, wait. Next batch naman. Kita sa next batch. 
All right, all right. Okay, one, two, three, smile. There you go. Ano yun? Nakikot ako. Ah, naka nakikot. Ah, nakikot. Wait lang. Ang <laughs> dali, isa pa. Dali, sumama ka sa mami mo. <laughs> Taga. Okay, okay. Okay, isa pa daw. Nakikot daw siya. <laughs> Okay, one, two, three. Tapos si Evan nakanguso. Smile. <laughs> nakanguso si Evan. <laughs> yeah, nakanguso. Uh, good night, guys. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, Pastor.